Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using data files in Jekyll. Now, data files are basically just files that you can store on your site, which will store all sorts of information. You can think of data files as like mini databases for your website. So I could create a JSON or a YAML or a CSV data file and I could store a bunch of information inside of it and then I could access that information from my Jekyll layouts and display it on my website. So the way that we can create these data files is by heading over to the root directory of our site and I'm just gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it underscore data, just like that. And now inside of this underscore data folder, we can put all of the data files that we wanna use. And you can create data files in three different formats. So it's either YAML, JSON, or CSV. And all three of those are pretty common formats for storing data. Uh, JSON and .csv in particular are used for a lot of like database dumps. So you could actually just like dump the contents of a database and then put it inside of your static site if you wanted to. In my case, I'm just gonna make a new data file and we'll just call this uh, people.yaml. Uh, so this will be a YAML file. And inside this people.yaml file, I just want to define uh, some basic entries for different people. So we could say like the name of the person, let's make it me. And we could give them an occupation. So for me, it would be Draft Academy. So we have all of this just like basic YAML data. And we can actually then access this information inside of our Jekyll layouts. So I'm over here in this home.html file, and this is just the layout that I'm using for the home page on my website. So this can be a good place to access that data. And the way that you can access the data is just by typing out site.data and then the name of the data file. So in my case, it's just people. So I could actually access all of that data just with site.data.people. And when I refresh the page, you'll notice that it's printing out all the data. So we just get like a raw dump of the YAML. What we could also do is loop through this data. So I could say for person in site.data.people, and actually I need to modify these tags a little bit. And I can loop through all of this data and I can display it. So I can make like a list item, or actually let's just make a, uh, couple different entries. So I'll just say uh, person dot name, and then we can do a comma and person dot occupation, and then we can break this. So now what this should do is display all of that data that was in that data file, nice and organized. So we have the name and then the occupation, name, occupation, name, occupation. So Basically, you can store any you know, YAML, JSON, or CSV information inside of this data folder, and then you can access it from inside of your layouts. And that's really useful just you know, if you wanna store like large amounts of data, um, but you don't wanna put the data inside of like blog front matter or inside of like your layout front matter. You know, it basically acts as like a little mini database for you. So you can make that data as complex as you want and then obviously you just need to loop through it or you know, display it uh, in whatever format or fashion you desire. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.